What is up, YouTube? Good morning, my beautiful people. It's a little windy out here this morning. I pray today is the day. Hey, blessed MMA. Good to see you guys. If you're just tuning in, make sure you give the video a like. Now, they do have some stuff fenced off today. I really can't see the end of the pier right yet because it's still dark, but it'll be light here in a few minutes. But they're saying in the news that uh, if the weather holds up today, today might be the day that they do it. If not, it's going to be tomorrow. So we're out here this morning either way. You know, at least we get to see a good sunrise again this morning. And if they do bring in the boats, we'll be here to see it. But like I said, this stuff, they have some arms fencing up that wasn't here yesterday. So it's been nice seeing you. Good morning, Dolly, and follow us. Hello, Ashley. Hey, Lady Spitfire. So I woke up just a little earlier, got out here, stopped and got me some coffee. Hasn't too much changed. Still the pier, still there. The end of the pier is still missing. Car is still in the water, okay? So, hey, Dolly, good morning. Good morning. Good morning to you guys. So, I don't know. It, it seems like the weather was a little better yesterday. The wind, anyway. It's a little bit windy this morning. I don't know if y'all can hear that wind. But, we're a little way the sun coming out. And, you know, I was out here the other day, and I guess some of you guys are, like, into astronomy or whatever. I was like, there's a damn light in the sky. I think it's a UFO. And apparently, that's Venus, okay? It wasn't a UFO. It was a planet of Venus. That's how people mistakenly report UFOs, okay? So, they're like, Dolly, that's not a UFO. That's, that's Venus. You can see it right before the sun comes up if you look in that direction. And I was like, oh, okay. Maybe I should have paid attention in school. I don't know. Okay, so I hope my stand don't blow over because, you know, yesterday I was like, the worst part of this is carrying this light. So I mounted my light to the stand. So it's on my stand. I mean, on my case with the wheels. That way I can roll everything. I don't have to even pack it up. I can just walk with it. But the wind is blowing so hard, I'm scared it's going to tip over. So if y'all go tumbling, y'all know what happened, okay? Um, looks a little cold, stay warm. Believe it or not, everybody was like, yo, you look so cold. I'm not cold at all. I have so many layers on. Like I have like three pair of sweatpants on. I got three pair of socks on. I got three jackets on. I got a beanie on that zips over my face. I got the mittens on. So I'm pretty damn warm, okay? And I'm drinking coffee. So um, I just look cold. It is cold out here. It's just I'm bundled up, so I'm not too bad. Do they know who it is? Not yet. No. They couldn't get a tag number on the vehicle. There's a couple people missing here in Virginia. One is an older man, and one allegedly is a girl that just had a baby. So both of them are missing. And somebody drove off this pier. So the odds are it's one of those two. I think they're leaning more towards the man that did it. But this is the spot, you know, of course, where I'm actually, you know, I'm a little closer. The girl that videotaped it, she was one block down. She was still a block down farther. And you can, you know, you can look it up online and watch the car drive off the pier. It's still sitting there. Uh, I don't see AWP. I was looking for Jared this morning. Where you at, Jared? Okay. Don't be hanging out with your cousins, you weirdo. Um, but I don't see no AWP. I don't see no scuba diving teams yet. But like I said, it's still early. And they blocked this off for something. I'm assuming this is where, if they pull anything out of here, it's going to have to come through this area right here because that's where the opening is to get down on the beach. That's why you've seen all them vehicles like yesterday driving up. They were coming through this opening right here. Unless they drop it on a barge and keep it moving. But I'm thinking they're going to pull it up and bring it up on a valley here like that on a tow truck. So 
So the current was too strong to try to remove the body or bodies out of the vehicle. Out of the vehicle. The sub, they said, kept hitting the side of it. But it looks like a white colored or light colored vehicle. A lot of people say it's an SUV. But it was definitely done intentionally. And they didn't haul ass off the pier either. Like, you know, do 100 miles an hour off the pier. No, they were going pretty slow. That bitch said, right off the end of it. Good morning, Bullhorn Betty. Jared is a dirty creek. Well, this, I don't see uh, AWP pulling too many cars out the ocean. You know, usually they do, they dive in lakes and things like that. So, I heard that they're going to have some of the, uh, the Navy SEALs helping them with the dive. I'm not positive of that, though, but that's rumors that one of the SEAL teams are coming in to assist. I don't know. But if it pops off this morning or this afternoon, we'll be here for it. So I'm going to be out here probably, I don't know, an hour, hour and a half this morning. And if there's nothing going on out here by then, I'm going to head back to my house and then come back out here later this evening with PJ. And then maybe we'll grab one of these hotel rooms out here or something. But we're going to hang out out here because I want to see this car come out in order. It's already starting to look good. So. People moving around this morning already. So. Good morning. Hey, darling. Instagram, congrats. Who's live? Good morning, Dolly. Hey, Vicky. Laying. Hey, Dolly. Hi. Good morning, guys. Wake up, okay? Get out of bed. Make you some coffee. We got people already walking down the beach this morning. I believe they'll pull the car out much like Callie Rodney. No, because they're not going to pull it from the beach. They have a barge that came out with like a crane on it. And they hooked up the chains to the pier, but the chains broke. Because <coughs> the water's so strong. So they pulled the divers out the water and it tore up the boat. So they took the boats back to fix the boats and they were supposed to come back out here. So... It's all dependent on the current of the water. But they were saying that the day might be the best day as far as the current. And I don't see how that's possible because it's windy as shit. It was way less windy yesterday. They would have had better odds getting in that water yesterday. And it was calmer. The water was calmer yesterday too. Now it don't look too bad this morning like the water. So even though it's windy out here, that water might be a little bit calmer because the waves don't look as big. And I was walking up and there were some surfers already out at the pier this morning. And I was like, you going out today? And he was like, yeah, I was looking at it. I don't think it's going to happen. And I looked out there and I was like, yeah, that ain't happening unless you, unless you surf with nothing, okay? But he was out checking the water out this morning. He didn't care. He surfed right over the car. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Nerdy girl Tanya, good morning. Crazy nurse, good morning. Jay Nicole, good morning. I hope y'all start you all day off great. Y'all see the sky start to turn pink? Let's see. Get y'all a little bit better. Yeah. Looks beautiful. Hey, Coach, your kitten. Good morning. Preschool granny. Good morning. That wind is hitting me in the eyes. It's like blowing up under my glasses and making my eyes tear up. I 
Weather, what's the forecast? The forecast is cold as shit. Well, I like wind. We got winds moving in from the north, okay? Gusts blowing at 35 miles an hour. Nah, I ain't, ain't a weatherman. I could be a weatherman. Dolly, the weatherman. Doppler, okay? I get fired the first week. All right, Wavy TV 10, News 3, you watching? Hook a brother up, okay? <laughs> Come on, loud. I'm probably waking people up in their hotels. Fight against the wind. Yeah, I did great with the wind. It's like, in the wind, you know what I'm saying? It'd be all right. What is going on, Massachusetts? Good morning, Barbara. Good to see you this morning. Hope you're starting your day off great. No, not a problem, TL. He's on Speakeasy Channel. Lock Rose. I unmasked that singer. I don't know what the hell you're talking about, woman. <laughs> I agree. Too early for that type of talk, okay? This is too early for that. All right, the pinks in the skies are coming out. Look how pretty that is. Okay, so the boats ain't out yet. Now I can see the end of the pier finally. So no boats out there yet. We'll see as the sun comes up if any trucks and stuff start moving in. Maybe the wind plans on dying down today. It's supposed to be a warm day, too. You see that every morning on your way home? That's a great picture. Hey, Dolly, if you love to hike, I hate Wisconsin, okay? <laughs> I'm not going anywhere near Wisconsin. Anywhere else in the country, I'd go. Wisconsin, oh uh, yeah, I ain't doing that. Congrats on your channel growth. Looks to be a year of the dialing. I told you guys it's the year of the turtle that we're going to be all over the place doing all kinds of different things. I plan on trying to get as close to that 100K as I can this year. Uh, now, if I was at the border, I'd already be there, okay? If I had a cone to stare at, I need a good traffic cone is what I need. Um, but I'm going to get to that 100K eventually, maybe one day. So if you're watching, sub up. Now we got to eat. Huntington Beach in the house. What's up, Huntington Beach? BB. We out here, BB. I need to hit the West Coast, so I haven't been to LA, the West Coast yet. I've been to Vegas, but I plan on hitting LA and the whole West Coast this summer, so I'll be out that way smoking and joking and hanging out. You know, I might start a couple movies while I'm out that way. Happy Groundhog's Day. Is it Groundhog's Day? Okay, if I see one of the Groundhogs come up out the sand, don't worry, I'll tackle it. joggers out this morning. They're running with the baby strollers. Dolly, did you see the the shadow? What'd that say? Six more weeks of winter. I hope not. We got some police driving up on the beach. But thank you for your super sticker. That's super awesome. I mean, we got joggers Nothing out. We got the police out this morning. See if I can see them. So they're just guarding the pier, I guess, to make sure nobody goes and drives off of it. I mean, I don't think nobody else is going to drive off the pier. But you never know, just in case. We got we got security, you know. Um, 
But I guess they don't want nobody walking out, out there and falling off, of course. Arms of an angel. Yeah, that's cool. I didn't even know it was Groundhog Day. I'm ready for it to warm up, though, so I hope he didn't see a shadow or whatever the hell it is. Okay? And thank you for the guys that have been tuning in. I looked at the video from yesterday. That thing had like 7,000 plays. So thanks for hanging out with me at the beach, okay? And I still, I just find it hard to believe that they'd left this car out there underwater for so long. Right? Like, they were like, okay, we'll be back next week. But they don't even know how many people are in the car. But right at the end of that pier, that somebody met their watery grave, and they're still there. The car is upside down in about 17 foot of water. And they say it's unstable, so it's moving around. So... Not only are they going down there to hook up to it, but as they're down there, this car's moving around. So it's super unsafe for the divers. And I guess they're going to just wait it out. I guess, you know, it, it ain't like it really matters how long you're down there at this point because you're already gone. You know, I hate to say that. And there's no uh, reason to risk other people's lives. It almost seems like they would have just brought in something with a big magnet just said and grabbed it and pulled it up but <clears throat> that seems too simple or one of them damn crane games like from the, from the whoop, whoop, grab it scary way to go it must not have been for them you know i can't even imagine what's going through somebody's mind maybe mental illness or something of that nature and they decide to drive their vehicle off the end of the damn pier. Like, I have to admit, though, it is a pretty view. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, what you know, people that drive off into the sunset and drive off a cliff? You know, it's kind of like that. You know, the last sight they seen was, like, probably a beautiful sky. And then, boom, right underwater. And... I just think that'd be a bad way to go. There's, there's so much better ways to, to leave this planet. I'd rather leave, like, the Kansas City 3, you know, partying, having a good time with my friends, and fall asleep and never wake up. But to drive off a pier and drown, I think drowning and burning to death would be the worst way to go, you know, because of the panic and the time it takes for you to actually pass. Well, once you lose consciousness, it don't really matter at that point. But still a scary damn thing. Oh, you know. We don't know how many people are in the car. They think it's one. But there's a couple people around here missing, you know, that have been reported missing. So they don't exactly know who's in the vehicle. And at this point, the person might not even be in the vehicle. Okay, because the current's strong. And if the windows are down in the vehicle, that person could have been sucked out the vehicle. We don't know. We just know the vehicle's still there. It's terrifying to even think about Easy E. How long do you li have you lived there? I've lived in this area um, since I was a kid, like 10, 11 years old. Might be in a shark's belly. I don't know. I hear sharks don't really like to eat dead stuff, but I'm not for sure. Hey, Ashley's World. Whoever it was must have been at peace with their cell. Or they were ready, you know, they were ready to go. I mean, it's a weird thing. I, I would, I think, you know, people life gets better like the sign says over there and people care you know a lot of people get this thing in their mind that nobody cares about them nobody loves them that's not true man there's good people out there complete strangers love strangers you know um, there's always somebody you can talk to so to see somebody you know purposely take their life is a sad situation definitely sad but they're not back 
out there yet this morning. I wish I was healthy to jog like that. If I ran about three steps, I'd fall out. Whoop! Somebody fly a night gale. Right, they had to fly me to the damn hospital. Certain sharks will eat deceased bodies. Well, you know, crabs and other things like that. We, we don't know. The windows could be up in the vehicle. If the window's up, you know, it might just be small fish or something inside the vehicle. But if the windows are down, which you know it was wintertime, so maybe the person in the car had the windows up and they drove off. And you know, we don't know if the windshield busted out. We don't know if the car, if it, but the way the car is moving around, it seems like it, it's still intact with the windshield in it. I don't know that. But what somebody told me is this pier was 300 yards longer and Gloria took it out. So this is really not even half the pier. The pier was way longer. And then there's that hurricane way back in the day. Now it's a lot shorter pier. So if it would have been longer, they would have been out there so deep. But since the pier got taken down, it's only in 17 foot of water. And I have to do, I have to say, we'll walk down there, but the water looks a lot calmer today. Like if it warms up, the wind dies down, it'd be the perfect day to uh, get it. Darcy, thank you. I see a couple of super chats that came in. Hey, Karen Lee, good morning. It says, what did the car put brakes on a couple times? I don't know, it did. When it went off the end, you can see it was hitting the brakes. But it purposely did it. There's no doubt that it purposely drove off the pier. Because it, it, there's a bend in this pier. It's hard to see. But if you watch my video from the drone footage, when I fly over the pier, and I have the drone with me just in case they do try to pull something out, we're going to fly out there, okay? Especially if the wind dies down. And if they don't pull it today, then I'm going to rip I wonder if this hotel's coming. It is. I think it is. Maybe we'll get a room up here, okay, in this hotel. We'll be able to be out here for it. Because I don't think they want to pull it out in the middle of the day with all the people walking down the beach. Because you never know. But thank you guys for your super chat. Your mic. The wind is hitting the mic. Okay. See if this is better. Hold on a second. Is that better? It's windy. It's hard. It's going to be hard to... Uh... No, no, not better. I mean, it's windy. I don't know what, you know, I don't know which way I was turned that the wind wasn't blowing before. Got to get this level. So you ain't watching me lean. Did you hear me? Okay. Why? Well, I have uh, my mics in the car. If it gets too bad, I got wind mics. I can go put one on. But hopefully this wind will die down. I'll try to block the wind a little bit.
It is so windy. We can hear it. Look, there's nothing I can do about the wind. It is, it is ripping this morning, okay? So just turn your volume down. Check out the sunrise for about five, ten minutes. About five minutes, and I'll be back with you guys. All right? That way you ain't got to hear the wind. I ain't, I'm going to drink some of my coffee. Y'all can watch the sunrise, and then I'll be back with you guys in about five minutes. Okay, yeah, I think they are going to do something here. They blocked off, you know, where we've been going down to the beach? That's blocked off. You can't go that way. Yeah. Down here on the beach, they blocked it all the way off. So two blocks from the pier, well, one block from the pier, they they have it blocked off. So they're doing something today because this wasn't like this yesterday when we left. Okay, so they've setting up something here. And uh, there seems to be a little more activity going on, people walking up on the pier. So maybe something is going down today. Hopefully so. It seems a little windy, but we're going to see. Angela, thank you for storm, um, storming the water and keeping us informed. Have a cup of coffee on me. Keep it real like always. Thank you, guys. That's super awesome of you. Thank you for your super sticker. Good morning. How are you? Doing pretty good. What are we streaming on today? YouTube. YouTube? Yeah. I'm on TikTok. Are you? Streaming on TikTok. Dude, your setup is awesome though, man. This oh yeah, is this so is my cool. little mobile my mobile station. This is brilliant. Yeah, so I can wheel it around. Got my battery. Dude, this is amazing. It's ghetto, but it works. No, it's so cool. I love it. I love it. Um, what's your name on YouTube? Dolly Vision. Dolly Vision? D O L O Y. Yeah, like a singer. How long have you been out here this morning? About an hour. Okay. Not even. Hold on, I can tell you. About, you saw the cranes on the way, right? Is it on the way? Yeah. Are they going to pull it today? I'm assuming. Yeah. Okay, cool. Was you on the news the other day? I was, yeah. I've seen you on the news. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I say hi to your live stream? Yeah, go ahead. What's up, YouTube? How are we, YouTube? Who are you? Tell me who you are. Jimmy Speedway on TikTok. Jimmy Speedway on the TikTok. Jimmy Speedway. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's pretty easy to remember. Everyone, please follow me. Please. How many followers you got on TikTok? I got 160K. 160K? Damn! Yeah, you. Yeah. Oh. We just hit 33,000 subs oh, yesterday. Dude, job, so not man. too bad. Uh, any ladies in here that are interested, I'm recently single. Again, any ladies in here that are interested, I'm recently single. Bye. Are you, are, <laughs> right, you, are you from here? Yeah, I'm from here. Chesapeake area. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, we, I came out here the other day when they first did it. I was here that Sunday uh -huh. last week. And, yeah, it's tough streaming something like this because, you know, you think of the families. Yeah. But we've been able to really just turn it into, like, a whole mental health thing. Yeah. Uh, as far as I know, they don't even know who's in the vehicle yet, do they? Yeah, but I know. Yeah, so... But I've had like so many. We we had like sixteen thousand people in the live stream on Sunday. Sixteen thousand. Wow. And then I, I got like over three hundred messages of people just being like, "Oh man, I was struggling so hard. I came to your live stream and it just helped me out tremendously. It made me feel good, man. It made me feel like I was really making a difference out there." You know? Well, I'll add you when I get back to the house. You got a TikTok? I don't do the TikTok. Okay. Well, I want YouTube. I don't have. I only think I have like a thousand. So. I mean, I actually, so I got a TikTok. I just don't upload. It. What on TikTok? Is there yeah. a lot of is people in the true crime on TikTok? I do a lot they, of true yeah, crime. They, do, they have a whole crime talk, man. There's 
a whole crime topic. Um, and, and the beauty of TikTok algorithm uh-huh. is it's going to put the right people. The right people will find you. I don't know how the Chinese did it, but <laughs> okay. the right people will find you. So is there a lot of locals watching the TikTok? Yeah, I mean, if you're posting like local content, they'll find it more. Uh-huh. Since I've been doing this, I've had a lot of local a lot views. Of yeah. Believe me, I got a lot of people that watch me on uh, YouTube. I just don't have a lot of local people there. I don't do a lot of local content. I usually travel out of state and cover and stuff like that. So, Well, TikTok could definitely help with that, man. And it's so nice to meet you. What well, did you say your name was again? My name is actually Jimmy. Jimmy, okay. Yeah. Me too. Yeah, that's why I, I, I will remember your name. <laughs> what was the YouTube again? It was Dolly Vision. Just remember Dolly. the singer. Dolly Look, there's one that's great and there's one that ain't. Dolly Parton is the great, I'm the one that ain't. All right, that's Fair enough, you man. should be able to remember that. Sounds good, man. Thank All you. right, peace. Uh, Jackie, thank you so much. Just gifted five memberships. Y'all guys are awesome. So y'all got to meet a TikToker that is recently single, ladies. Okay. <laughs> like I don't run a damn dating line, home. <laughs> he said he had like, that many people watching from out here. Wow. TikTok must be where it's at. I'm in the wrong game. I'm leaving. Dolly, I'm single. Does he have, um, what did it say? Does he have a, does he have money? I don't know. He had 160,000 TikTok followers. He might be making some bread. I don't, I don't know. I mean, we got TikTokers and damn. It's a new world. I don't know about that TikTok stuff. I'm too old for that shit. And thank you guys for your likes and your super stickers and all that good stuff. Joining me this morning for coffee and a sunrise. You single TikTokers. It's pretty busy this morning. There's a lot of people out this morning. Because I guess it's a Friday and everybody's like, yeah, let's start the weekend early. Let's get down to the beach where it's freezing fucking cold. Jimmy, you're so kind. Thank you, guys. Good to see you. Don't go for broke, right, Betty? What's wrong with a nice broke guy, okay? As long as he got a bus pass and get to you. See, that's the problem with you women. You always go for the rich dude and they get you a nice broke man, all right? Walking by me, they look like crazy, like shit. I ain't getting me no broke man. One Cardinal fan gifted five dollar memberships. Thank you, thank y'all for joining up, hanging out with me this morning. Uh-oh, I'm out of coffee. It just got serious out here. It just got serious. Okay, so y'all heard the TikToker. The cranes are on their way, okay? And they got this stuff roped off. I'll pull my phone down and show you guys in just a minute. We'll take a little walk. But they have... They have the where you pull down onto the beach blocked completely off. About a half a block down, they got it completely blocked off down here, all the way down the beach, so you can't go on to the beach. I'm assuming they're gonna grab it out there and they're gonna pull it up right here, because this is why all this is blocked off. They can bring the trucks in right here. Let me see if y'all can see it now. Hold on. See how they got all the yellow stuff blocking where the vehicles pull in? And if you look this way, about a half a block down here, they got it all gated off down there. And the car is sitting right to the right side, right there at the pier, by that pillar. Because that's where they had the cranes. So I'm thinking they're going to grab it, and it's shallow water. Once they get it a little bit closer, they could probably winch it from the beach. So if we see tow trucks and shit like that start pulling up, AWP and Jared jumps out, we know what's up, okay? And there's more police out here today than there was 
yesterday. Okay, there's actually a few more police. So I think today is going to be the day. We might see this car come out the corner. Welcome. Coffee Freedom. It's me, Jen. Drop a crab pot right there, right? I don't think that's going to happen. It seems like, man, that they could get it, like, pretty easily. It don't seem like it's that really that far away. It's like a good rope, you know what I'm saying? Because the car's not, like, it's kind of floating. It seems like they could snatch it. All they really got to do is hook to it. Um, whoop, whoop, thank you so much. I see you think, but it moves so fast. Let me see if I can grab it. It says, read back e. Thank you, Rebecca. Thank you. Thank you for your super sticker. Or membership, or whatever the hell it is. Oh, I'm about to blow over. We need to pick it up. See, a TikToker like my ghetto setup, right? I told you I was going to rig some stuff up since yesterday. So I have everything like taped to my stand. And then I have, of course, my chargers, my lights, but everything is where I can move it. Don't have to carry it to the place. The only thing is I'm doing a little front heavy, so I might need to tie a brick to the back. But I wasn't planning on being going at 30 mile an hour wind, so. But the concept works, okay? Now that I've figured out the concept, I'm gonna build something that holds my stands, holds my batteries, holds everything, and I'm gonna put like a little behind me, and then the light pops up out of it, my camera goes on it, and it just sits there. And then I'm going to build some little sidewalls so we don't have to worry about this wind shit anymore. So, everything's a little ghetto, but it works. And the police are out of their vehicles this morning. They went out the other day. They were sitting in their vehicles. But this morning, they're outside their vehicles. Let me fix this. Lights about seeing a better day. I'm going to do one of these. But this is the same light setup I had in Georgia, in Vegas. This light has been all over the country with me. But it's about time to retire and get a better one. Good morning. Oh, damn, he's running like 30 miles an hour. breakfast me and the pup awesome yeah i grabbed me a biscuit this morning before i came out here because i was hungry as shit when i was out here so this morning i grabbed me a little croissant bacon egg and cheese and some coffee so it's really beautiful well, let me get out to the place.
what you doing vaping no i'm not i don't vape you ever see me vape I need this light on anymore. If you are reading this, you are loved and you matter. Oh, thank you so much. I feel the love. Food, coffee, freedom. It's awesome. Thank you so much. Are you super sticker? The view is the view is beautiful. And the moon's out. So you can see the sun rising and the moon over here. So it's it's really pretty. You can watch the moon. You can watch the moon set and the sun rise simultaneously. So, and this is a good way to start my mornings. You know, I feel a little more energized coming out here in the mornings. The air is really good, so I feel like I get a good, you know, because I smoke a lot. I need some fresh air to be able to breathe. So that. Good morning, fresh air. It's actually been, it's actually pretty nice. People are kind of lining up now, kind of waiting, I guess. I guess they didn't see it on the news. More people out here filming and just standing around the, the last two mornings. But it is a Friday. So maybe that's what it is. That wind is getting a little chilly. Yeah. Uh oh, I see the tugboats coming in. You can see them. I see the tugs now. They're coming in. Hold on, we're gonna roll down here where we can see it. I see the boats coming in. All right. There they are. They're bringing the cranes in. Can you see it? Okay. There is the crane coming in. The tug is coming in with it. lot of people coming out now standing around the edges so. but yeah there's the crane coming in they're gonna try to pull this thing today
All right, guys, let's see if they get this car out of the water. Hopefully they do it swiftly. Oh, yep, they're bringing in, they're bringing in more people. EMS coming in, driving up. I don't know if you can see all that. So they definitely, that's definitely the crane. I know it's kind of hard to see because it's so far away, but it's moving in. And they ain't gonna let you get but so close this morning because like I said, they got all this blocked off. Um, maybe we could go down that side and get close to the water to get a better view. But when that thing gets close to pier, we're going to go get the drone. We're still a little ways out. And that tug is moving really slow, so. EMS, we need to beat EMS. I knew that's why they were blocking that area. I don't know what good emergency response people are going to do when the, the car's been underwater five days. But nice to have you around just in case anybody else gets hurt. Zoom in, please. I'm on StreamYard. I can't zoom in. I'm not streaming from my phone. I'm streaming on StreamYard. I can't zoom. Okay, yeah, we got people coming. We definitely got people coming. We're going to move down this way, guys. Maybe we can get some good footage. Oh man, I broke my light, which is holding my phone. Okay, we got people coming down here. All right, give me a minute, guys. We change the locations. All right, when the, when the thing gets closer, we're going to walk down onto the beach. Oh, no, they blocked it off a half a block that way, too. So we'll get closer if we got a drone up to get the view of it. But right now, they're still trying to get the thing in place. It's still a ways out there. So I'll give you this view for a little bit, and then we'll move, okay? Let me walk this way, see what I can see, how far it is, and I'll be back with you guys in a minute.
Okay, I'm back with you. I was just over there talking to the TikToker. He has a pretty same setup as I do. He has the, the, the stand with the light. He just don't have the bag and the battery like that I carry with me, you know, for the lights and power and all my stuff. I learned that in Georgia. Like, if you're going to be streaming a long time, you got to have power. There's no way to charge your phone. So not only do I have this, but I also have a solar one that you can hook up to the stand and it solar charges from the sun and charges your phone. So that way your phone don't die. Betty had a, a cool setup too. She has one kind of like the stand, but on the stand she has an umbrella clip. So it blocks the sun, gives you a little bit of shade. Watching from the UK. What's up, UK? So the crane is out there. The police are at the end of the pier. We're going to go down here so you can see the police at the end of the pier. Hang in there, people. So there's like three, I don't know, one of them looked like an engineer or something. At the uh, end of the pier. Oh, from Jimmy's TikTok live, sub to you. Thank you guys. Jimmy seems like a cool dude. I'm the other Jimmy, but I go by Dolly online, okay? Crazy, two Jimmys out here filming. I'm on this side of the pier, he's on that side of the pier. It's a Jimmy thing, okay? Jimmy's be curious, all right? We be curious. My, curi my curiosity got me up at damn 6 o'clock in the morning. See, I think that's their plan because they're all starting to get into places to try to get this car out early. Because if they don't, it's Friday. There's going to be 100 people, 1,000 people out here. Good morning from West Virginia. Good morning. Good morning, guys. There's almost like 700 of you in here. I definitely had to check out the TikTok thing. I just thought young kids were on TikTok. Um, morning, Dolly. Newly discovered you and quickly became a big fan. Awesome. All right. It's the mittens. It's the mittens that get everybody. I noticed since I got these mittens, my subs went up. Nobody watched. Then I got these mittens. Now I got a big, huge fan base. It's crazy, you know. I don't even know what to do. But I can't sign autographs because I, I wear mittens. Be like, nah, I can't do that. I, I, I ain't got no fingers. There's Chinese spy balloons. Did I read that right? <laughs> okay. All right, all right. All right, all right, all right. Y'all can see the crane, right? Can y'all see the crane? I mean, I don't see why it's so difficult, but then again, I'm not an underwater diver. But it don't seem like it's in that deep of water. Uh, 
Uh, what did he say his name was? Jimmy Speedway or something like that? You could rewind the video. And it'll tell you his name. Alright, we got more cops walking up on the pier. I got a pretty good feeling that they're going to pull it today. I can see them standing around at the end of the pier. They don't look like the crane or the uh, tugboat's moving into place right now. But then again, they may have a scheduled time that they're going to try to probably rough undercurrent. I don't know. I swear it feels like it's getting colder out here. Good luck for the crew for an easy recovery. I hope so too. Guys, if there's anything graphic, don't worry. We will turn away. We're not going to show you no dead bodies or anything like that. If they pull something terrible out this water, we will turn the cameras and things of that nature. Prayers to whoever's family this is because right now they don't know who's in this vehicle. They just know somebody's in it. So... And it, you know, when it went off the, off the pier, it didn't seem that anybody tried to escape the vehicle. So, they went down with the ship. And I'm sure at some point they're going to set up a staging area down here on the beach. I would think. Alright, we got some cops. We're going to move over here so we can see who's going in and out first. Because they ain't moving nothing in the pier, so we might as well be down here where we can see who's Thank you for becoming a new member. All right, look, I got a traffic cone. Oh, I'm in business now. The sub should flow in. Look at them, I got two traffic cones. All right, anytime you have a traffic cone in a video, you're guaranteed to hit 100,000 subscribers. Guaranteed, I heard that is the rumor on the internet streets, okay? Not only do I got one cone, but I got two cones with a cop car, okay? Mess with that JLR, okay? Two cones and a cop car.
which you know, and mittens, and mittens, okay? It's the trifecta of greatness, okay? Cones, police cars, and mittens. Only 336 likes. You better get the damn like button up, okay? Y'all hit that like button, I will swim out there and drag that car in, okay? Like caveman style. Also a memorial area. You're right, you're right. We got cones, baby. Look, share this video. Let everybody know we got cones. All right, we got two of them. Two cones, we're gonna name them, okay? That's Alpha Cone, and that's the Omega Cone. Bam! Now all we need is a couple immigrants swim, running up the beach. We done. It's, it's, it's done right there. Can't mess with it. Can't mess with it. They're taking our jobs. Uh, shared thank you so much thank you you guys wake up this morning wake up name them left and right yeah we got the left cone we got the right cone all right but either way we got cones i'm gonna leave it here streaming for the next 50 hours there you go somebody text message me there you go dead laughing emojis I got jokes this morning. I got jokes. But I hear that's all it takes. That's all it takes, right? A good border cross and maybe a cone. A couple of escape fugitives. We big time. We big time. If I had a dolphin cone, a dolphin cone, two cones and a cop car. Yeah, I'll. I'll I'm balling out here today, baby. Messing with that. JR had a Humvee, though, the other day. I was like, how you beat a Humvee? I can't, you know, I ain't got that. You know, what am I going to do? Beautiful sunrise. Yeah, it's a... It's been cool. That's the only good thing about it. You know, it's a sad situation, but the last couple mornings we have got to see the sunrise. It's been really beautiful. So, mini sub. JR gained a lot. Yeah, he did. Find the Humvee, duh. That's okay. We we might have other vehicles coming in here today that he can't compete with, okay? We're going to land a damn F-14 fighter jet on the boardwalk. He can't mess with that. He can't mess with that. They're taking our jobs. Did you bring your fishing pole? Well, you know, I caught a, a Volkswagen. I bet you could hit it with a fishing pole, technically. You probably, if you had a strong enough test, you could probably pull it in. They should have dropped the crab pot down there and just pulled it out. Build a gigantic crab pot. Am I near the beer, big mermaid statue? I don't think so. But like I said, there's starting to be more trucks coming. We seen the barge with the uh, crane out there. It's not close to the pier yet. It's still like 300 yards out, but it looks like it's sitting still. Maybe it's just waiting for the call if they're going to try to do it today, if they're going to dive on it or not. I see some people come up that kind of look like, I don't know if they were with the military or engineer looking like people fire department or something they're out there standing on the end of the pier the 
waves are pretty calm. Let's walk over this way a little bit. No, I'm gonna leave y'all with the cane. I'm gonna leave y'all with the cane. By dollysoap.com. That is a good way to keep Dolly alive. Do you stream from under the water when they start pulling it up, that car? Here from TikTok? Well, thank you. Thank you, guys, for everybody seeing me on uh, Jimmy's TikTok. Thank you for stopping by. Now, this is the third day that I've been out here. I've been, I've been stopping out here every morning to see if there's been any, you know, progress. And uh, today, like I said, they got it fenced up. And uh, it looks like something's going to go down. They're bringing the boats back in position. Betty and Dolly ain't into JLR. What did that say? He's doing great at the border. Yeah, he, he is doing okay at the border. I mean, JLR is into that stuff. He he is I ain't I ain't hating on JLR. He's good at what he does. I just ain't into those type things, you know. All right, we got a bulldozer coming up onto the beach. I don't know what they need a bulldozer for. Good morning. Hey, Kimmy. Yeah, I yeah I seen the uh, the sub. Yeah, it was banging into the car. That's why they said it, it was dangerous. They said the current's moving pretty strong underwater, and the car is unstable. So even diving on it is pretty dangerous. Be right back. Eight hundred of y'all here, guys. If you're just tuning in, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. It's absolutely free. It don't cost you nothing. Okay, just like the video. We're gonna be out here a little while today because you know it looks like they are gonna try to pull this car. So we're gonna hang out, chill out here today for a little bit. So make sure if you just tune in, we get these videos likes up. It helps share this ugly face and algorithm. 
So do your thing. Be good YouTube viewers. Um, good morning, all. Good morning, D-Sue. Alabama, yes, is way too early. Blah, 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 blah. Share your social uh, social media platforms. Triple D, probably have the bulldozer to pull the car on shore, maybe. I don't know. I think the bulldozer. I don't even know where it went, to be honest. Morning. Uh, good morning, Beach Life. Good morning from Oklahoma. Good morning, Oklahoma. Good to see you guys. Donna, good to see you this morning. What are you doing this morning, Triple D? Come hang out with me. You down here at the beach anyway, ain't you, Triple D? If you ain't got to work today, come hang out. What's the temps there, Dolly? Hold on, let me see. I got to pull a mitten off. Cold, okay? But the sun's coming out, so it's warming up a little bit. Maybe I can come out with some of this armor in just a little bit, hopefully. But the crane is out there. The tugboat is out there. They look like they have some people at the end of the pier looking around right now. So we're going to see. Hopefully this car comes up out the water today. They do have the beach blocked off, so I can't go down to where we were at yesterday, where we were filming from underneath the pier. They have that blocked off because I'm assuming they're going to pull that, that car out and they're going to bring it up onto the beach somewhere. Or they might just boat it up out of here, you know. But I'm, I'm assuming the body has to come up on shore somewhere. So... People out here Olympic power walking. I wonder if Food Places Eddie's has video footage. I think they are trying to check missing persons. Yeah, right now, um, there's a few missing people around. Okay. They believe it's the man. Uh -oh. Somebody just dropped their lease there, a little chihuahua. So they believe it's the man, but who knows at this point? Hello, good morning. Good to see you. Hey, little doggy. <laughs> I'm so glad today is the day, aren't you? Yeah. I am so glad. Yeah. It's been a hell of a week. Definitely. She sees a stuffed animal without a walk around. She wants one of them so bad. To grab it? <laughs> she wants to grab the stuffed animals? Um, the cones are too straight. Okay, that's the left cone and the right cone. Look, now I heard the magic recipe. All you need is one cone and you're good to go. Everybody, like my face, nobody will sub it. But for some reason, people like to sub traffic cones. It's it's a, it's like an internet phenomenon. It's like unexplainable. So I was like, wherever I stream from, it has to have a traffic cone. All right, that's it. That's the key to this, the secret. All you YouTubers out there, traffic cones. Maybe one cone, I don't know. I don't know what that cone uh, identifies as, okay? You're full of it, Dolly. Meh. It is what it is. It is what it is. Cone heads. I can see our turtle. Still 46 degrees in the water. It's actually turning into a nice day. And I'm assuming they're going to pull this car. We're going to see all the news people start showing up soon. When you see the news people show up, you know that car is coming out of the water. As soon as we see like Wavy 10, News 3, 13, we know they're getting ready to pull it. You're fun. Thank you, James. On StreamYard, some have a little icon. Jump in and see if the uh, crane and tugboat and kidnap a cone. The red phone did pretty good. Okay, yeah. That Remember I was at the airport and I stared at that red phone and it did like 20,000 views? It did pretty good, right? It's People like cones and red phones and something. I don't know. It's a weird thing. You give people stuff to look at, they'll look at it. It's weird. D 
Do they know who is in the car yet? No, ma'am, they don't. Not at this present time. They believe it's a missing man from here. Um, they don't even know what kind of car it is. It looked like a Volkswagen. I'm not sure. People are interested in good backgrounds. Oh, maybe. Hey, Remy. The next rap single. I love Rhonda. She cracks me up all the time. I haven't seen her out here. I mean, I wouldn't recognize her if I did see her, but I know who she is. I know she makes a little videos locally here. PJ's met her. I've never met her. Uh, me too. She's definitely not. Hey, Joy. Nice to see you. LA 360. Nice to see you. So, beach day on Dolly Vision, okay? I didn't come out here. Just, I done came out here more in the freezing cold than I did all last summer, okay? I don't like all the people in the summertime. It's just too many people. I love the beach in the winter, though. When there ain't a million tourists. Sidekick says, let me know when that one drops. Oh my God, it gets crazy at summertime. Bulldozer might be the drag. It might be. I don't know where the bulldozer is. To be honest. And I got a sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Lord. We could play volleyball? I guess. Thank you, guys. Thank you. It looked like a small SUV. I mean, the video... Looks like a Bigfoot video, honestly. It was shot from like a block away. So the girl was on the beach videotaping. It was 16 years old. And she was like, we're in between, what is this? Uh, 14th and 15th Street. And uh, I think she was on like 13th Street when she videotaped it. So it wasn't a very clear video that was out. So you could just see the tail lights and the headlights and you see it drive off the bridge. But as far as it being like a super clear video, it wasn't that great. But you can watch it online. The New York Post posted the video of the car driving off the pier. So we're going to see what goes down. Sand Bridge is your favorite? I like Sand Bridge. Them cones ain't doing anything. Why do people like them so much? I don't know, but look, I got two of them in a cop car. If that don't get me some subs today, we're going to have to reevaluate. JLR got 150,000 subs. A hundred of them came from a traffic cone, okay? That is almost funny to me. It's so funny. Groundhog didn't see its shadow. Summertime is coming. I hope it gets warmer. I'm ready for the warm. As you can tell, I got 700 layers of clothing on. Um, yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's get the summer popping. I'm ready to get this stuff on the road. We got Crime Con coming up in May, the end of May. Me and PJ and Lolo will be in, in Nashville. So if you're in the Nashville area, of course, come out and meet us. Say hello. Um, I'm going to have some uh, samplers, things that I'm giving away while I'm at CrimeCon, as far as my soaps, my lotions, my body washes, all kinds of stuff. We're going to have a booth set up with the missing kids and some of the cases that we've covered and things of that nature. And we're also going to have a little meet and greet while we're down there. So if you're in the Nashville area around that time, um, come see us. And me and PJ will be releasing some stuff that will let you guys know how you can help sponsor that trip. Um, and probably in the next few days. So hopefully we'll get to meet some of you guys, see some of you guys down in Nashville.
Okay, we got the medical examiner out here. That's the medical examiner that just walked by me. Okay, so there's the medical examiner. He's out here this morning. If they got the medical examiner out here, that car is coming out in the water. Okay, that was the medical examiner. Maybe we'll get, we can talk to him in a little bit. Say hello, get him talking. See what he says. Let's see if we'll ask him when he comes up. Are they going to pull this car today? See if we can get him when he comes up. They going to pull her out today? Hope so. All right. Okay, that was medical examiner. He said he hopes so. All right. So we heard from medical examiner. He hopes they're pulling it out today. He's avoiding you. Well, he walked behind the camera. Of course, he's over there with the police. The police are sitting behind me. They, didn't get, they, they got just right out of the range of the mic is what they did. They're standing over there to my left. I don't want to stare at them and point the cameras at them. Plus, y'all missed some beautiful traffic cones right there. Okay? Everybody just, I know y'all just came for the cones. Y'all just came for the cones. So, but the medical examiner did say they hope it comes out today. So, we're going to be here for it. Thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you like the video. And I'll get y'all a better shot at up here when, when the the boats get in place right now this way we get to see who's coming in and out and we can ask them questions if they walk by you know what i'm saying like we just did the medical examiner maybe we could talk to them about what cocaine and fentanyl will do to you because you know we were just talking about that kansas city three stuff you know and all these drugs mixed with uh bad things in it and stuff like that so he might be a good dude to talk to medical examiner Probably at night to my head. Oh my god, hit that thumbs up. Honey dip, good to see you this morning. Need a close up of the cone? You can't miss that cone. Look at that's a nice ass cone. Look, it got some miles on it too. That cone looks like it's seen a bunch of crimes. needs therapy all right y'all share this video pilot cones gone wild okay Can I see the car in the water? The car there, it's underwater, 17 foot deep. They're going to pull it out the water today is what the medical examiner is saying. The police are out here. They got more people. They got some more crane stuff pulling up down here. So they're definitely going to do something today. There's way more action out here today than there was yesterday. And the wind is gone, right? The wind has died down. The water looks pretty calm, pretty flat. So we may get some action. We may get some action. Phone and iPod, but PJ wants to let the families know first. Well, if trust me, guys, we're not going to show nothing graphic, right? If they go pulling any bodies out or anything like that, we'll turn the cameras. We don't, we don't want to show anything horrible, okay? We just want to see the vehicle coming out of the water. I'm sure they're going to try to, I don't know if they're going to try to pull the body after they retrieve the vehicle, 
or if they're going to try to get the body out and then retrieve the vehicle. But most likely they're just going to pull the car out and then retreat, cover it up like they did to Kylie Rodney situation for you guys that remember that happened in Truckee, California, when that girl flipped her car into the lake, to the reservoir. They'll probably do it like that. They'll pull it out, cover it up, have people come in, do forensics, things of that nature on the vehicle. But we're going to see it today. We're going to see it today. They didn't block all this stuff out here. They ain't got the medical examiner. They ain't got all these teams moving in. And they're all pulling up, walking up now. So they ain't doing all this for nothing. So I'm surprised they didn't do it earlier in the day. But this will give time for like the media and things like that to get out here. As soon as I see the news pull up, I know it's about to go down. See, I think these are people to do with the cranes and things like that because they're going to start moving these things into place. Like I said, the water was so rough last time they tried to do it that the chains broke and it damaged the boats and they had to take the boat back. That's why this car has been underwater all week. Okay. Um, Triple D said he can come out. But he will need a ride home because his ride works till 7 p.m. Dolly Vision. Okay, Triple D, come on out, man. Yeah, come on out. I'm on 14th Street. Get them to drop you off and uh, come hang out with me today. All right, because I'm going to be down here a while. We got the other TikToker Jimmy out here. All right, we got a lot of Jimmy's going on. And uh, we're going to have to start me a TikTok. I didn't know that so many people watch TikTok and true crime on TikTok. 65 CJ5, is it cold? Uh, causing shrinkage no nah, i don't got that shrinkage problem okay if this youtube fails i can move to cali all right a lot of problems i got that ain't one of them that ain't that ain't one of them um only problems i got money i got money problems other problems i ain't got so the sun's coming out it's actually turned in it's actually i might be able to take this jacket off soon okay i might be able to pull a finger out the mittens Have you seen Rhonda Young live? No, I haven't seen Rhonda. Is she out here? I don't personally know the lady. PJ's met her. I haven't never met her. But if she comes out here, I've seen some of her videos. She did this video in front of this little uh, bodega where this dude got shot. And she was talking all crazy and shit out in front of the bodega. I've seen that. Okay. But far as meeting the lady, no one. I, I, I don't know a lot of these local YouTubers. There's a few big ones from here. I think the biggest YouTuber from here, around here, is the After Prison Show. I don't even think he does it anymore. He had millions. Uh, Lockdown 23 and 1, they're from right here. He has a lot of fucking subscribers. But I don't think there's a ton of famous YouTubers around here. Like I walked in the mall, and there was a YouTuber, and I think he had hundreds of thousands of subscribers, and he was paying people to do pranks. He walked up to me and said, hey, man, I'll pay you to be in a prank video on my YouTube channel. I just kind of laughed. And I was thinking, bro, you better get up out my damn face with your faking ass shit, right? Um, Janet K, thank you so much. Thank you so much for your super sticker. $20, ah! $20, I'll go get the damn car out myself. All right, you want me to go get it? Y'all want me to go get that car? It's only damn, you can walk out to it. Is it Janine K? Did I say that right? I hate to murder your name, but thank you so much for your super sticker. That's super awesome of you guys. True Crime, SW True Crime. Hey, guys. Good to see some True Crime people in here. Um, what now? TikTok, gather all your personal info. Yeah, I mean, China. I mean... 
Yeah. Those are all your personal info. Well, if it brings some new viewers, you know, to the, the type of stuff I do, that's all I really care about anyway, you know. Getting some eyes on some of these missing people that we cover. And this is a missing person, too. We just don't know which missing person it is. Usually when I'm out looking for missing people, we know who it is. Like when we were looking for Avril Hooks and her boyfriend, her husband, he got to court coming up. And that man, I don't want to jump off topic, he should have never been out of jail. That happened in Lynchburg, Virginia, for all my Virginia people watching. And uh, we were out there. I was out there with the daddy when they found her body. So it was, I mean, that was, oh, my God, that was a bad one. Like That, that emotionally kind of messed me up a little bit because, the, I, you know, in true crime, you don't think that you get tied to these people like some weird way. Like hanging out with the dad that day, I felt so bad for him when he got the news that his daughter was in the trunk of that car dead. Oh, my God. that. It's just some things like in this in this true crime stuff that you it's like you give a little piece of yourself to do it. You know what I'm saying? Like there's no way you can do it and it not emotionally affect you. Like dealing with little babies dead in the dumpster and fucking people murdering their wives and it's just all sad. It's 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 all sad. And there's never like I don't do anything good if like I told the lady the other day, um, that met me out here. She was like, I add your channel. I was like, look, I can tell you now, when you see me, something bad's happened. You know what I'm saying? Something bad is, if you see my face in your town, something bad has happened. And that's, I rather like people get to meet me under good terms, you know, but usually people end up meeting me under the worst circumstances in the world, you know? You make me laugh. I'm glad I make you guys laugh. Humor is fucked up. I work in criminal family law. Um, this is why my sense of humor is so fucked up. I worked in criminal and family law. Well, I try to bring a little bit of joy to everything I do, you know, because I'm, I'm a big kid. I'm a goofball. Um, sometimes it's inappropriate, you know, but I apologize. If I try to, I don't do it purposely. Um, I'm just a goofball, you know. But these situations are definitely sad and I don't know if the family's watching, but I have learned over time that watch what you say up here because families do watch, and uh, and you never know. You know, you don't want to offend nobody, and we don't really know who this is in this vehicle yet. We don't know if there's kids in the vehicle. I'm almost like a plague doctor. Remember the plague doctors that walked around with a big beat and a stick? You see me, something bad, terrible has happened. That's. It's not always bad, though, because, look, sometimes you go places and people are found. Like, we went out looking for Jake. He was found. That was, uh, what part of Virginia was that? I can't even remember what part of Virginia it was. Northern Virginia, but Jake was found that day, which was good. Um, still no answers for that little girl. They're having a birthday party. What's the day? The second for little Summer Wells today? For you guys that are in the true crime, some of y'all might not know that case. Somewhere else, a little girl went missing down in Hawkinsville, Tennessee. Day's her birthday. She's been gone now, going on three years. Still no answers. Parents were on Dr. Phil. Things of that nature. So, usually I would be down there for her birthday or any gatherings or things like that. But with this internet stuff comes a lot of weirdos and trolls and haters and just some of the worst people ever. Okay. Just some of the worst people ever, ever. And it seems like a lot of those people surround their self in the summer Wells case. Right. Cause really I probably should have been in Tennessee today doing what got me into true crime, but there's no way I'm going to put myself in a situation where I had to slap the shit out of one of these people down there in Tennessee trying to do something good from my heart for this little girl when everybody around her is the biggest pieces of scum bags on the planet like from the, to the family to the people that the family associates with i've never seen a missing kid where the parents didn't give two fucks never it, it is the sad. It's, it's way sadder than this you know true 100 percent dolly yeah and uh them people that are doing these things, spread misinformation, 
doing terrible things like that, you know, karma will get you. It'll come back and bite you in the ass, you know. And I had something really good planned for this little girl for her birthday. But with threats and people saying different things, I wasn't able to do what I wanted to do for this little girl's birthday. And But what I want to see this year is I want to see somebody go to jail, okay? I want to see some people answer for what happens to that little girl. And, and that, that, that would make me happy this year, okay? To see some of these scumbags sit behind bars. Not, I know that was a little off topic. That was a little bit of a dolly rant, but, you know, they're celebrating that girl today, and it, it's a bunch of scumbags doing it, right? A bunch of damn scumbags. So I'm not even tuning into it today. I'm not going to give not one of them people a click and a view from Dolly Vision. Um, I wish some are nothing but the best. And I pray to God they find that little girl. But the scumbags that are doing this shit today. Oh, Lord. And when they walk into that church today, I hope they burst into fucking flames. Right, we got more people showing up. Winnie the pup, I 100% totally agree, Dolly. Yeah, it's sad, man. Totally sad, guys. I know a little off topic from this, but here at Dolly Vision, we cover a lot of true crime. So you might hear me talk about different cases while I'm out here. Um, because we follow a little bit of everything. So they're bringing out the equipment now. That truck is loaded with like sonar or something. Like the sides, like where they got it open. They got like computer screens and shit in it. So. Now as far as the crane, it looks like the crane moved out a little ways. But I know with all these people showing up, they, they're probably going to pull this car up out of here today. Hey Donna. Hey Mab. Good morning to you guys. There's almost a thousand of you in the room. Make sure you hit the like on this video. Share it out on your Facebook. We're going to be out here at the beach today waiting for them to pull the car out. I think Triple D is coming out to kick it with me for a little while. So it should be should be adventurous, okay? So I got two cones, a cop car, and Triple D. Done deal, done deal. Andy's Mittens, okay? More vehicles pulling up. Very true. There's weird subs. So gross. Um, nerdy bingo. Okay.
Oh, I like that book bag he had on. The book bag had a stereo built into it. That's pretty cool. He's walking out with a book bag on it, and the book bag is a stereo. Nine hundred and seventy in chat. How many likes we got? Have we hit a thousand likes on this video yet? If not, I'm rage quitting. I'm gonna go jump off the end of this pier. Okay, they're gonna be retrieving my ass out of here. Y'all liking it? Y'all sharing it? Are y'all being a good YouTube audience out there? That's what I want to know this morning. Um, I'm new here. Welcome from Eastern, um, where did that say? W-A? Eastern Washington? Is that what that is? Welcome. Thank you for being here with us. It's a lot, it's starting to warm up a little bit, guys. So, once Triple D gets here, I think he's coming out. I'll be able to walk back to the car, let him hang out with you guys for a few minutes. I'll be able to walk back to the car, take some of this stuff off, get me something to drink would be great so share to the facebook and x let's get to a hundred thousand that's right dolly gotta eat Good morning. Hey, little puppy dog. He's a cutie. Thank you. Can y'all see the little husky? <laughs> they have signs that say active investigation in progress. Virginia Beach Police. He's carrying in his hand them signs. That's what they say. Active investigation in progress. That's probably why they got everything blocked like it is. Morning, Dolly. Always Dolly, always Dolly. Yeah, they're going to pull this car today. I got a good vibe about it. They ain't hanging these signs talking about investigation in progress. They got the medical examiner. They got the fire department. They got every, every single people out here. They got people with sonar. Something's popping today, so we'll be here for it. At least we didn't miss it. You know, I've came out here a couple days, but it was nice. We still got to watch the sunrise and things of that nature. And prayers to whoever's in this car, if it's a family or if it's just one person. Hopefully, it's just one person. But we're going to find out today. You've been thinking about the Chiefs' death. Yeah, I still think that Jordan supplied them drugs in the Kansas City Three. You know, I think he supplied them drugs, that, that Coco and that Big F. And that was enough to kill them young men. Just say no, people, you know. And, like, we're watching people, you know, accidentally die. And it, this person, you know, they unalive themselves. It seems intentional. But you, there's always somebody out there you can reach out to, you know. And usually PJ's in here posting the suicide prevention hotline number. There's people that care, guys. If you're going through something, and I, and I say this all the time because I've had friends that took in their own lives, it's always the people you don't think that'll hurt themselves. It's always the people that seem like they got everything together that are always the people that hurt themselves. It's like they bottle it up and don't want to tell nobody, and then they end up hurting themselves. So... Just know there's somebody out there you can talk to and, you know, reach out for help, man. 
Life always gets better. It's full of ups and downs. And our turtle's still there. What's the update? They're, they're going to pull the vehicle today. The medical examiner came by. I asked the medical examiner, are you going to pull the car today? He said he hopes so. So they have the medical examiner out here. They have the boats and the cranes are in the water. They're not up against the pier yet. When they do get close to the pier, I'll change the view so y'all can see what's going on. Um, people are starting to gather along the fence line. Okay, and like I said, they have it the pier blocked off a block that way and a block that way, so you can't get down on the beach right by the pier. So, Jordan is a big man, and the, the three won't so big. Well, I don't know. I think he's going to end up facing charges of not reporting the deaths of his friends. Um, there's a thousand of you in the room now. Make sure y'all give the video a thumbs up. Um, when I'm at work. So I do believe, you know, he had every chance to report the deaths of his friends. And he chose not to do that. Um, he acted like he didn't know what happened when he done those drugs with his three friends. And maybe his, his friends would have been alive if they would have been in the house. But they went outside and and they froze to death. So now, like I said, we don't know. And I don't think they know if the body is still in this vehicle of, of this vehicle. Now, if the windshield came out when it went in, the current could have swept the person out of the vehicle and they could be looking for this body for the next, for a long time. But they do know where the car is for sure. And the car is right at the end of the pier. It didn't go far. It didn't wash out. It actually tumbled over the end of the pier, fell straight down, and it's sitting up against a pylon, and it's unstable on the roof, right? It's, 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 uh, it's uh, over, upside down, and it's moving around in the water really bad. So, like they said, to dive on it, you could dive down and the car hit you. You know, it, it's moving around swiftly in the water, not just barely moving, it's moving. So they've been waiting for the water to calm down. And then I guess they're going to send divers down. More and more police are gathering out here too, along along the fence line. We got Jimmy over here TikToking. We got the police over here. What time is high tide? I don't know, guys. Y'all would have to look that up. I'm out here using my phone to stream. So, and I got plenty of battery, so we're good no matter how long it takes. Um, I got a damn marina battery with me, so we ain't got to worry about no juice. This phone ain't never going to die. But you can only stream, I think, what is it, 10 hours? We've already been here too. So if they do it within the next eight hours, we don't even have to end the stream. Um, you came over from Jimmy Speedway stream. Awesome. Awesome. Jimmy seems like a cool dude. I'll make sure before I roll out, I'll get his contact information. There ain't very many people I know around here that do internet shit like me. One guy said Jordan was making and selling drugs since high school. I believe it. He's a chemist. He's a scientist. He was working on HIV vaccinations and things of that nature. So... Who knows? I know this. They they shouldn't have did those drugs that night. And he's lucky to be alive. And so was Alex. Okay. Alex that left. Remember he left at midnight. He's lucky to be alive. Jordan's lucky to be alive. And I still think he's going to be charged with not reporting the death. And what he did to that family is absolutely horrible. He should have contacted the parents and said, look, hey, we were doing drugs. They didn't make it. I'm sorry. You know, I did. I mean, nobody can hate him for living. Right. But he, he owed that to the moms and dads of them three guys. And instead of doing that, he lawyered up, he shut up and he just shit on the families. And that's what is making him look so bad. And that lawyer 
that he hired, 757, in the house. Hey, 757, that lawyer that he hired was a sleaze bag. Okay, just a pure T sleaze bag, and it made him look worse. So to me, now with him being in rehab and things of that nature, I just don't know. It just it just makes him look like he had parts in the, the drugs with the Kansas City Three. That's the medical examiner taking pictures. Oh, he just took a picture of the turtle. Man, we got the same Nikes on. Okay, they're walking up on the pier, medical examiner. They were just talking about, you ready to go down there? Okay, I'm going to leave y'all here for a minute. I'm going to walk down here to see what's going on at the end of the pier and see if we need to move locations yet, okay? But right now, they're not they're not pulling nothing out of the water, so I figured stay here because, you know, we got all the medical examiners, the fire chiefs, and all that stuff right here. So we might be able to overhear some stuff. So I'll move us over there in a few minutes. There's more people coming out here to stream. I see people setting up cameras now. Okay, news is out here, news three. All right, they got a drone up now. So they got a drone, the police are flying a drone. They got it into the pier. We got news three down here. Here's the news three lady. Now, some of these ladies I know, because I met when I was doing that search in Suffolk. Okay, for the little girl that went missing, they found. So I met a lot of these these news people, the anchors out there. A lot of our local news are pretty nice. They're not... They're not quite like the Georgia fucking news. They're terrible. They'll lie. Georgia news will lie and create stuff. Virginia's news is not quite as bad. So if any of the news companies around here are watching, good job, guys. Right? Because I've seen some media in some other states be absolutely horrible. So at least here in Virginia, we got good media. All right? They ain't out committing crimes. Make sure y'all like this video. There's 665 likes. Let's see if we can get it up to a thousand. They got people out there that ended up here looking right now. They're bringing in boats. They got drones up. We're going to do a little bit of moving in a minute. I'm going to get you down here where you guys can see. But I'm going to walk down here for a second and I'll be right back. Um, Rhonda claims to be channel nine. Love it. Okay. Well, I'm channel four. If she's channel nine. I'm channel four because you know how we got three, 10, and 13. She's nine. I'm four. I'm channel four. You're watching live. Channel four with Dolly.
Okay, let's relocate for a few minutes. We're going to go down this way a little bit. All right. Hopefully. Hopefully I can do this. See that? So they have some like Coast Guard cutters out here, little small boats. And I don't know if the dive teams are on them little boats, but they're just kind of circling the pier area a little bit. And there's about 10 people at the end of the pier, which I'm assuming one's the medical examiner. We know he's out there. There's some firefighters. Uh, there's some city civil, I think, like engineer workers. I think it's an engineer on the back of their uh, shirts. So. Okay, y'all see the little boat out there. wonder if they are using those blow up things well i don't think they're in the water right now they're just kind of circling right now i guess they're trying to figure out what they're going to do maybe they're using sonar or, or something of that nature but that little small cutter boat keeps circling the pier there's another one in front of it now it's getting close to the pier So I think they're probably running sonar probably to make sure we're still in the same location. But I'm pretty sure today is going to be the day they pull this thing up out of here. Hey, little dove. Good to see you guys. If you haven't, make sure you thumb up the video, all that good stuff. I wish I could get us closer, but they got everything blocked off. All right, we're going to go to the other side, okay? Let's do it.
the good thing about this setup I got here, it's pretty mobile. It's on wheels. So all I got to do is wheel everything around. So I right, enjoyed the sky for a minute. They got the drone up. Oh, they got a nice one. Let me catch the drone. Hey, I appreciate you doing your filming. Uh, Can you give me some space yeah. for the drone? Yeah. Teach him how to fly it. He looked like he didn't know what the hell he's doing. I mean, I do have my drone with me too. It's in my bag. One boat up to the pier now. Down here with the big cameras now. This dude got some zoom lenses on it. You know he's with, he's probably with the newspaper. You would think the police would have a better drone than they had. They got all them big boxes for that little shitty drone. Big the lens is on that camera. Like the side of the view better. Like I said, when, when they get them barges in place, I'm going to fly my drone out there. Yeah, you ain't against a lot of flying no damn drone. So, I'm going to, as soon as they get the barges tied up to that pier, I'm going to go right back and grab my drone and launch it. My control, I got the drone with me, but my controller's in the car. I'm going to be like, hey, officer, can you step back in the way of my drone?
Um, what's up? I got a DJ, uh, DJI Mini. I flew it out yesterday. Uh, what was it? Day before yesterday? I flew it out halfway to the end of the pier, but the wind was so strong I had to bring it back. So. These are just cops out here playing with toys. You know. Like, what are you going to see in the ocean, bro? What are you going to see with that drone? What are you going to see? What are you going to see? The top of the water? Protect the cones at all costs. Well, there ain't nothing going on right now, but a bunch of people standing at the end of the pier. So, and you know, we got photographers, news people out here. But we're gonna go back down here in front because I'll bring y'all back over. Uh oh, wait, no, they're bringing the crane in now. They're bringing the crane in now. I think. Tugging. They're bringing the they're bringing the uh, crane in now. All right, they're bringing on the crane slowly, but they're pushing it up here. They definitely moving it into place now. See the boats coming in? They're pushing the crane up to it. They got the medical examiner on standby over there. Dolly sent coffee money to your cash app. Thank you. Thank you guys. I don't even think my cash app is up. Let's see. Can I put banners up on this thing? Hold on, yeah, let's see. Oh, I can put banners up. I didn't even know that. Comments. Okay, thank you, Dolly, for doing this. You're welcome, guys. Thanks for being here with me. They got the crane coming up to the pier now. So we're going to see this car come up about out the water. They're getting closer now. Michelle, good to see you. Truth Seeker, good to see you. Joanne, good to see you. If you are just tuning in, make sure y'all like the video. They're bringing in the barge with the crane on it now. Trying to get it into place.
Oh yeah, y'all can see it. So y'all see the crane. All right, I'll be right back. Stay here. about the lobster drones. The police are launching drones again. <laughs> See his drone going out. Triple D! Oh, homie. <laughs> Triple D done made it down here. Say hello to everybody. Well, you just need a ride back? Yeah, I'll get you back. Well, you had to work today? Uh, no, I, I uh, used a vacation day. Oh. Decided to take off. See him moving the crane in? Oh, yeah. This ought to be interesting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, finish this over here. I ain't bugging everybody. All right. Oh, yeah, Dave brought me a soda. Good looking out. He looked out for a cookout. Whoever sent me a message on Facebook, please stop. I can't read them right now, okay, because I'm live. Think that lens big enough? <laughs> that dude had to, to see you on the moon lens. He just about got it in place. They don't know how many people's in the car. They don't know who's in See, I'm, I'm curious. I'm thinking it's like a, it seemed like two people were fighting. Like the woman was driving and the dude was attacking her or something. It's just, it's just, well, they got a missing man and they got a missing woman. Two different sets of people. Right. So, so I'm wondering, you know, that's what I was thinking. Either that or maybe the person was having a heart attack or something. A stroke. Yeah, I did see them hitting the brakes right before it went off because it ain't like they shot off of here. They went like this. Whoop. Yeah. Went straight down. Yeah, they're sitting right by that uh, power on yeah, there. If they would have kept their speed, they wouldn't have done that. <laughs> like, say, fly off the end of the pier. I mean, it's, you know, like, it's almost like a movie. Like, yeah. drive off into the... Last minute thinking about it. Should I do this? And then by then it's too late. Oh, I didn't know that. So he rolled the windows down a little bit? Watch my setup. All, right. All you got to do is set here. It's record. You can say hello to everybody if you want. And I'll be back. All right. That's cool. What's up, y'all? I guess they're uh, getting that crane ready to drop in the water. So, we shall see. Now, if Jimmy don't come back from the bathroom, by the time they pull that out and there's some dead bodies, I'm going to turn the camera. We don't, we don't need no dead bodies.
hopefully I'm not in y'all's way. Like Jimmy said earlier, they're probably using sonar. And that's how they know where the car is at. It looks like they're a little bit to the left of the bridge, dropping the crane in. So the tide might have pulled it. All right, guys, we're going to move so we can see a little bit better on the other side. group down here because you can see it because it's on the left side oh yeah Hi right, guys. Yeah. Must be right there. Tide, so they don't bang into the, See those the pier. Up on the side of it? Yeah. It yeah. Damn, I gotta go get my other stand. Yeah. Hold this like that. Yank some of that tape. <laughs> Just hold it like that. Bend it towards the boat so they can see it. All Just right. face it that way. I'm gonna grab my other stand. All right.
That's what it said. Word. I don't know what they're doing yet, man. It almost looks like the tugboat's trying to turn them a little bit. Maybe they are. When did they pull them out? Oh. Drove off into the pier. No, no like about four days ago. Saturday. Yeah, drove through like the it. front, drove all the way down to the end. Slide off the end. Good, but it works. Mm -hmm. A little tape. A little, a little side action right there. Look at that. Good as new. Good as, mm -hmm. good as new. Did you flip the camera? No. Oh, let's flip the camera. We can do that too. It'll see better. Um, let's see. Camera. Wait, no, that turned it off. Hold on, more. Uh, stream FO, post content, private chat, stream of settings. Camera. All right, that's on me. Let's do back camera. Okay, now we've got to see better. It has a better camera on the front anyway. Oh, I just broke this one. Damn. I ain't got no luck today. Hercules. Hercules. I broke the whole damn clamp. See that? It's just sitting there now. Oh, is it reversed? Yeah. Take a piece of tape. I had to do that. It's just gonna fall. Hold it for a second. So I just dropped this off at Wu Tang Studio about four weeks ago for old Dirty Bastard's son. Young Dirty Bastard? Yep. Yeah, I'm at him. This is what I do for a living. Woodwork? Yep. Everything's hand carved, no CNC machines or any of that. Oh, that's cool shit. It was a way to work through my wife's breast cancer journey. Now I build directly for the Detroit Red Wings, Vegas Golden Knights, Minnesota Wild. Oh, that's Atmosphere, great. I used, do, I used to do promotion for Blue Tank Plan. That's, there's your finish. Killer Freeze. Uh, Capadonna. Oh, that shit, man. You ever want anything? All right. Oh, hell yeah. That looks pretty cool. Let me know, man. I appreciate it. Yeah. All right, let me see that. Go ahead and get her taped up there. That way at least it don't fall. I ain't over the lens, am I? No. I got my finger where the lens is at. Okay, hold on me. That's the lens right there, isn't it? I don't know. Hope not. You can look at your camera and tell I can't really see. I can see the chat. Oh, no, you're good. Should be good. Okay. We need a better spot where we can see. Here, I gotta pack the drone up. I got one, man. I just ain't learned how to fly that thing yet. The drone? Yeah. I mean, mine's a little cheaper one. You know. But. We got yeah, but that cop was like, could you watch out for my drone? Hey, yo, you don't know how to fly it? What? Dude, you only need a, a foot of room. It's little. He has a See, mine, you know, it's got the controls where it's got like 10 buttons on it. And you can transfer their functions of it. All right, we need to fly down this way. All right. I will. Oh, you got it. Squeeze in over here somewhere. Oh, yeah, 
You'd be good. She's, she's great, man. She's doing good. You know, she's at work and I'm out of play. <laughs> That's right. Retirement is good. All right, well, we'll keep our fingers crossed. Menage gets us some. Watch it. I'll send you one right now, bro. Yeah, I thought it looked like more one of them. Yeah, I thought it was a Yeah, like a Scion or something like that. Uh, thank you guys. Best view in the house, thanks. All right, I'm glad y'all could see. I broke the damn clip. Dude, that happens to all of us. All my shit breaks eventually. Then I got another clip, taped it to it, then broke that clip. <laughs> back to back. So it's all duct taped up now. <laughs> did the ring break off or did you have to do that? Yeah, the ring broke up. See, see the clip? Oh, man. Right there. Dang, dude. Yeah, it's just yeah. crazy. I'll grab a new one. Yeah, I've had that one for a while. That thing's actually traveled the whole country with me. Okay. What do you mean? Just, you just follow up time stuff? Yeah. That's what I'm Wherever it happens, I'll jump on the plane. You got a chance to look into the uh, science of that? Just follow up. I was They have like a whole bunch of people. I've seen it. I was thinking about there before I hang out front of the plane. Yeah, I was out there two weeks ago. I almost want to get that. You're going to try to go straight up with it. I'm going 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 to go straight up with it. All right, guys, it looks like they're still trying to get the barge into place. So we got a pretty good view. We got a lot of the, we got the medical examiner, some of the fire people, police enforcement on the pier. They're still trying to shift this thing into place so they can pull this vehicle out. Right now, they don't know who's in it. We're going to find out, though. Thank you guys for your super chat. Let me see what it says. You see my glass? What do you think that depth is? I can't see nothing. They said it was 17 feet. I don't think it's that deep. Um, Terry, thank you so much. Is that little orange thing floating? Is that a marker? Yeah. That could be a buoy they just dropped. It might or might not be tied. When they came through and they side scanned, they saw some of their side scanned. I wonder if the car is shifting a little bit. No, it's, it's shifting. Yeah, because yeah. that buoy last week. Yeah, last week it was right in front of the That buoy was in front of, like, directly in front of the pier. So, yeah, it's clear. So the car is right there. Okay. Guys, y'all gonna get a good view it's of this car coming out because like it's the right day. there directly in front of us. I was just wondering if maybe the uh, tide was deep. It can't be too deep right there. 
I'm surprised the damn car ain't washed ashore. No. If he would have had the window, they're probably washed. It sank to the bottom. Yeah. That thing, that thing flipped upside down. Yeah, it's upside down. That thing like a rock. Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah, that shit was straight. Whether it's on its wheels or it's on its top or whatever, it's sitting there for a while and it's swelling. Yeah. Have it wash that car all the way. If she's on the wheels, then she'll fill up the sand. Well, I'm sure, I'm assuming when they get that tarp coming out of the water, they're going to cover that tar up. Oh, yeah, that's the first thing they have. We got that tarp up there. Do they? That's, that's, that's a requirement that they have. Yeah, you know that's getting covered instantly. Kind of like the Kylie Rodney thing when they pulled that girl out of the reservoir. When I got that call off the Bay Bridge Tunnel, we had to have that uh, I got a video of that on the phone. Well, I heard it. Was yeah. yeah. That normally happens. They had a guy, this is a good one. Yeah, the guy who killed himself in the Bay Bridge he went to the wall and bought himself a shot of chain and anchor and some rope. So he goes in the wall and he's going to go and kill himself. So he's going to drive off the chest of the or something like that. He wants to the police to his TV. The guy drove out and opened it up and finds the chest of the anchor or something. He's going to and jumped out of the side. We never found him. Wow. Didn't have to find nothing. Wow. Yeah, I had seen he, he went off the bridge and he had washed up in the uh, park reserve. Yeah. Yep. Right off the coast of North Carolina. That current out there is pretty strong. <laughs> 18 818 likes y'all get those likes up on this video guys if y'all can see that orange buoy in the water that i think that's exactly where the car is at so they got the crane right directly in front of it so it's just a matter of time they're going to jump down there and start anchoring this car up yeah the car looked to be white or silver in color it's hard to tell was it one passenger or two passengers but i think they think it's one male driver there's some rumors that he stopped at the 7-Eleven and he was caught on video rolling the windows down. Yeah, it looks like they might have tried to change their mind, but they had plenty of time because they drove around the bend on the pier and all the way to the end. But they did look like they hit the brakes a couple times. Looked like a white Jeep. It looked something white or silver in color. SUV, small SUV maybe. Yeah, you can hear the jets flying over. Emma, thank you so much for gifting the memberships. That's awesome of you. Thank you so much. If you got a membership, guys, make sure you thank Emma. Girls as players, too. Good morning. Big shout out, Emma. I can't zoom in because I'm on StreamYard. 
I'm not streaming from my phone straight to YouTube. I'm streaming from StreamYard to YouTube, so I can't zoom in, guys. This is as good as we got. on YouTube? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Huh. You go, you go all over? Put stuff on YouTube? Yeah. yeah. That's what I do for a living. YouTube. Right. Yeah. Wow. Social media. Person. Yeah. What's the name of your YouTube? You got a name? Yeah. Uh, Dolly Vision. Dolly Vision? Yeah, like a singer? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dolly Vision, like you said. Check it out. Yeah. I do a lot of true crime stuff. Good morning, Huntress. Hey, PJ. Triple D made it out here to hang out with me. Thank you. Let's see who this is. Emma and April P. Thank you so much for gifting the memberships, April P. Thank you, Emma. You guys are great. Appreciate it. Don't forget to hit the like button for me. Share this on your Facebook. My front door camera just went off. <laughs> it's either the cat or somebody's at my house. Smart time, 423. Good morning to you. What time is it, Dave? 909? Appreciate it. 909. Nine. baby. <laughs> I'm about, to buy me a, I'm about to buy me a bigger one. And a second phone because I'm stuck. Because if I stop streaming to drone, I can only do one or the other. Yeah, then you record it and put it on later. I almost brought my hard hat, my uh, PPE, my little vest and stuff, safety glasses. <laughs> all right out there. <laughs> but the medical they would not even be able to medical examiners notice. out there. They wouldn't even notice me. All right, they're moving on on the dock now though. Footage, but I'll have to end the stream and start the stream back up. Yeah. Uh, no, well, I have all my DJI stuff from a drone hooked oh, okay. to that phone <laughs> that I'm streaming with. Gotcha. And I left my other phone at the crib, so there you go. well, I'm signed into it. Uh, I'm just trying to stay <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'd have to end and then. <laughs> Oh, you got watch it. You should do Think that. Think over at that uh, 1100. Not bad. Do that. I know. But then I had to end it. Then, then end it and then put it on there. They'll, they'll, they'll come back to watch it. I mean, that's, you know, whatever. I mean, I guess some good footage. Of it. I mean, I could go down there and drive When you look at it here, it seems like it's way more of a distance. Thank you, Ashley. Thank you. Let me see on your phone. Hold the tension on tail and see if you can see it. Oh, you see pretty good. You got a 1940s phone? Mm. It don't even show the live chat. Oh, that's a pretty good view. That ain't bad. It does show the live shot. It just takes a minute. Oh, okay. Not a bad view. I mean, it's a little far away, but 
need to see how it seems like it's a lot further away. You owe me a coat, Dolly says Miss T. Hey Tina. <laughs> okay. Yes, it ain't too bad. Oh, well, there's a divers? Oh, did they? Yeah. That might be what they're doing right now. Yeah, they're lowering it down now. They just brought the diver up. Yeah, that's the diver's probably checking the... Well, look, when they get the car up, okay, as soon as the car comes up, we'll video to that point. We'll end the stream, launch the drone. So we can zoom over. It's a little far. What is, are they just going to drop it on the barge and barge off? Or are they going to? They're probably, yeah, they're going to take the kind of shoes on. They're probably not going to try to bring it on the shore here. Okay, he's dropping it. Oh. I always like my Samsung Galaxy. This is the S23 Plus. I got an S21 too. The S21 Plus too. But the S23 came out. I've always been an Android. And this phone does the same thing the iPhone does. Panoramic, all of that. Right. Yeah. And you don't have to pay for apps. Nope. Well, if I was streaming from uh, my phone, I'm streaming from StreamYard. He's undressing now. He's what? He's undressing. He's taking off. Oh, you can see all that. He just pulled off something over there. Yeah, he got the job for it. Yeah, it feels pretty good. He's just going down to put the thing. Yeah, that's right. Using someone's. Yep. Yeah. No. I mean, it does, but it, it don't look like hers. If I zoom in, it'll be some pixelations. I can zoom in, but I had to get the screen. I, mean, I can't. Closer and I zoomed in, I probably would be able to see everything. Yeah, well, I got Samsung, but uh, that's just, uh I'm sure I'm gonna try. you got an A series. I got no, I got the El Cheapo. Yeah, the A series. It's a loser series. This is the S. This is the S. The A series, yeah, I don't like that. See, I used to work at Verizon and I also worked at uh, OSL in the back of Walmart where they sell the phones for T Mobile, Verizon. And all of that, so I know a little bit about phones, and I was studying them and stuff. And yeah, I'll never get out of here. They have the tarp ready, so yeah, they got the line. They got the line down there. I think they're hooking up to it right now. We got news can down here. Look, the whole beach is still lined up with people. Mm -hmm. You got a good spot. You're just tuning in, guys. Make sure you hit the like on the video. They're hooking up to the vehicle now. We're probably going to get ready to see this car get pulled out this water any minute. See, that's the reason I think it's over there is because the tide pulled it. Uh, a little ways in, go too yeah. far though, because it was like right directly at the end of the pier. And if that's the case, it may not even be looking over. If it 
they were right here in the ocean bag. You know, you still be on this wave. Like it's underwater. That means the wave and the current. Yeah. Right. I will walk over. I'll be too. Yeah, because when they showed the sonar video on the news, you could see the, you couldn't see the car completely. It's just like little green and murky, mm -hmm. but you could like see it rocking. Rocking. Yeah, I seen that. In the water? Yeah. Yeah. Right yeah. 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 They they sit on a sub and they said the little submersible kept hitting hard. Hey man, you wanna run my spring? You know that little sub. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Shit. Just like in the house. Okay. Oh, so they pull it back up. They might go damn it. You got it. You got it. You know them drones are bad. You imagine how much the underwater sonar cameras and shit are. Let's see how many people with us. We got 1,122 people with us. Make sure y'all hit that like, guys. The barge is in place now. Where that orange buoy is is where the vehicle is. The diver is done hooked up, and they're pulling now. So you can see they're starting. They're slowly starting to tug. His name's Jimmy, too. I know. You know what's funny? The door dash was Jimmy. Was it? A lot of Jimmy's out here today, huh? Yeah, yeah. You ain't share? Man, we got a bunch of people out here. Who wants to See, he, ordered, he Ubered, eated him some stuff. <laughs> That's what I need to do. Yeah, you can do that out here, man. You can be on the beach. What, did Uber eat to the beach? Or it's like, yeah. Somebody was telling me that you could sit on the beach, order your shit, and bring it up. They got it. They got cars coming up. Where? Right in the front of the boat. No, that ain't a car. I thought that was it. It is. It's floating at the top of the water. Yeah, it's at the top. I seen that. It's upside down. The wheels up. Yeah, the guy. I hope y'all seen that. The wheels just came up in front of the boat. There it is again. That's it right there, ain't it? That's it coming up out the water. It looks red. It's out the water. Does that look red to you, Dave? Yes, it does. It's a red vehicle, guys. We thought it was white. It's a red vehicle. They're coming up right now with it. The vehicle. Okay, it's up in the air. Can y'all guys see that? Make sure y'all like the video. They're trying to bring it onto the barge now. You can almost see in the car. Yeah, you can. Oh, Lord, you can see the car. Look, look at the roof. Yeah. See it? There's somebody in it. I can't tell. They're on it. They got it. They just dropped it onto the barge. I wonder if they sell it on eBay. It's definitely a red SUV. That was nice, too. I thought it was white. It looked white in the water or silver. Red Nissan? What is it, a Rogue? Nissan Rogue? Red Nissan, guys. So if anybody's missing a red Nissan or a family member. The family's already out here. Are they? they already know. Yeah. Nissan Murano. That looks too small to be a Murano. That looks like they're either a Rogue or what's the other Nissan? Kicks. Huh? Oh, you got binoculars. Yeah, I don't know which is this here. Yeah, if that windshield came off, that heat, whoever it was, went either. I mean, the current could have taken them. Or the animals. Just that crab. Covering it up. 
Yeah, if they covered it up, there's bodies in it. Yeah, that's what I thought too. There was a body in it. Yeah, they covered it. It was laying. You could tell some whoever is laying on the roof of the inside of the car. There you go. You can see there's there's something on the top. Like when the windows are there, you can see there's a black something laying on the top. Yeah. Yeah, they're covering the vehicle now. What are they going to do with it, though? Are they going to bring it ashore and take it out, or are they going to just take it out on the barge? Oh, they're going to take it to Crawford. Yeah, it's still a crime scene. They're going to take it to Portsmouth. To where? It's Portsmouth. They're not going to drive that barge up on it. No, no, it's, it's, it's going to metal. Then they're going to have to get the barge code. Yeah, but what about the body? Are they going to offload the body out of the vehicle from there? I don't know. Because the medical examiner is out there. They're not going to do any of it here. They're not going to do it. I don't think they're going to do that I don't think so. Yeah, they're trying to contain the chain there. Yeah, they were up there the other day when they, the first time they were sent to get them out. They have still had the police and the family were around the city. They do say they were in the family before they were in the city. Well, did they act, act like why, did, why he did it? Did they put it out there like why, did, why he did that? or? Yeah, they had that tarp ready. Quick, boy. Yeah. Okay. Do we? That's so sad. Yeah, guys. The vehicle was on the on the dock. I mean, on the. Barge, yeah, I was trying to think of the name of it. I went brain dead there for a minute. Okay. And you got the military right here, or the uh, the police. And I don't, yeah, Coast Guard. And then I don't know what the hell that other one is. They got the car. It's wrapped up on the barge right there, wrapped up with a green uh thing. You could actually look through the binoculars the guy next to me had, and you could actually would see something was on the uh. The top part of the car so there's somebody in it for sure i ain't see it man but my eyes ain't that good <laughs> well, you can see a lot better with his binoculars oh i'm sure i can see right up on it then are they backing up now they probably get paid good money too <laughs> Well, they got the sheets. See, look. See the white sheets they're holding in their hands? Yeah. Oh, shit. See them? See them bringing out the white sheets? Yeah. Is there more than one white sheet? Yeah, there's two of them. There's two dudes. Both of them have white sheets in their hands. So you think there's two people? Uh, or they're just wrapping them up good. You know, a couple sheets around them. Just wrap it up, man. Just and you know, wrap it up. You know, being in the water that long, you're going to be swollen up. and Swollen up like a champ. Yeah. Like a hot dog coming out of there. Shoot, like Fat Albert. <laughs> they did a good job, man. It was quick. You know what I mean? Yeah, they got it out fast. They did. Well, they probably already knew what they were going to do. It's just the uh, crane messed up. Well, plus it's farther away from the pier, too. So That's what I was saying, the damn current. Yeah, probably helped them. Yeah. Yeah, because having to get over there. By that pier, hitting yeah. the pier, yeah. They definitely got it up out of there. It's laid on this roof right there, guys. Trigger warning. Thank you guys for tuning in with us today and being out here taking part in this. Make sure y'all like the video. Sub up if you haven't. They made it look easy. They definitely made it look easy. <laughs>
realistic. It's so it? far to drone out there, though. In my drone. Now that it's all covered up. Really. If I could get to the beach, if I was on the beach, I could drone out there easy. It's, it's all covered up now, so it wouldn't even really matter. They're moving, it ain't they? Mm -hmm. Just a couple of minutes. Three minutes. Yeah. 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 It was a red vehicle. Still up and down. On the barge. And they immediately covered it up. So you can see the first You can see the first one. Yeah, you can see when I look through the binoculars. He has a pair of binoculars. And, uh, it was laying on the uh, car like this. So you can see something laying on the beach of the car. You can really get me out of it. Okay. All right, guys. Look, I'm gonna wrap up the stream. I'm gonna hit my drone up in the air, and I'll be back with you guys in a few before this thing takes off too far. All right, peace.